Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited about this video because I cannot believe how much I lucked out because I have two bag reveals to show you. One from Hermes, one from Louis Vuitton, and I got both bags for under 900 Australian dollars. If you are here for the very first time, hi, my name is Mel. I am so happy you can join me in today's reveal. If you love all things luxury and handbags, this is the video for you. And I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to click that bell because it will notify you each time I upload. So for both these bags, I have been looking at them for quite a while and I'm just so happy I found them. One of them, the Hermes one, I've had for three weeks and I've just been dying to show you guys. But the Louis Vuitton one, I got about a week ago. So I wanted to wait till both of them arrived and then I could show both of them to you. So let's start off with the Louis Vuitton one since she came recently. So the first bag I want to show you comes in this dust bag. This isn't the original dust bag, but regardless, I'm just happy that the seller had a dust bag. And... I am going to reveal, look at that red. This is the Louis Vuitton Khan bag. It is a vintage bag. And looking at the date code, it is from 1996. So this baby is 22 years old. I cannot believe how good condition this bag is. I've been looking at getting this bag for probably about a year but it's really hard to find one in the condition I was after anyway. So where did I buy this bag? I got it from eBay, but it was from a private seller and the seller was amazing. I asked so many questions. They gave me as many pictures I wanted. And so I did actually get the bag authenticated before I purchased. So the seller was really accommodating. And this bag is officially called the Khan Vanity Bag. And as you can see from the shape, yeah, it looks like a vanity case. So there are a few uses for this bag. You can just use it as like a vanity bag if you go on travel you can use it i think as an evening bag you can just sit it on your shelf or display really honestly i think you can rock this bag on any occasion i know i'll be using this bag even as a day bag not just an evening bag and this bag is in epi leather i love epi leather epi leather is very durable and i just let me just show you guys the bag so it is a circular shape you can go all the way around it came with the lock as well, this lock, and it also came with uh, two keys. So this is the bag. In terms of the bottom of the bag, there isn't any feet. It is all in epi leather, but this top handle is just in smooth calf leather. And it is in a beautiful, in terms of the metalwork, it's in a quite a deep yellow gold, as you can see. And... The, the metalwork is just in fabulous condition. There are a couple of very minor marks on this bag, but overall, I would say it is in excellent vintage condition. And it's a zipper opening, so what you do is you just zip it open. So the zipper is pretty smooth. There isn't a shoulder strap, and the inside is all in red lining. It's sort of red suede lining. I'm not sure if you can see. Now, one thing uh, to note is that this pocket here, it's not usable. This particular one, it's all sticky. But from my research, it is quite notorious, these vanity bags. I don't know why that the inside pocket is really sticky, but it's not something that I would use. So I didn't mind too much. Inside, it is really clean. Uh, there are a couple of small marks on it, but honestly, I could not believe the condition of this. Now, in terms of the price, Mel, how much did you pay for this bag? I paid 393 Australian dollars delivered. If you guys take a look on eBay, for something in this condition, it normally retails for over a thousand dollars. If I find some similar ones, I will link it below for you. Another interesting point is that I was talking to one of my friends on Instagram and she showed me this picture. And I absolutely loved that combination, but it made me want to look for this bag even more. And I'll insert it in here. 
And does that or does that not look like the Khan bag? So Louis Vuitton is digging in its archives as well. And I think they've taken inspiration from this bag. I'm pretty sure that that bag's going to retail for over $3,000. So being able to pick something up like this for, you know, $393. I honestly think I got this for such a bargain and I'm just so, so happy I can add this uh, to my vintage bag collection. If you guys are interested, I did recently film my vintage bag collection. I will link it above and in the description bar below. But if you're looking for designer bags and you're thinking, look, I don't want to spend that much, I highly recommend that you check out uh, vintage designer bags. You can pick some really good condition ones up for bargain prices. Of course, you need to do your research, always get it authenticated. But for those of you that have been following me for ages, you know I am such a vintage bag lover. So I will try this on for you as well, just to give you an idea what it looks like. But there isn't any shoulder strap. It is a handheld bag. I am thinking to myself, how can I put a shoulder strap on this somehow? I haven't figured it out yet, but it looks so chic, handheld. It fits tons in there. Um, iPhone 8 plus not a problem you know mini pochette it's, this is not going to be a review on this but look as I use it perhaps next time I can do a review on it but I just think this bag is amazing now in terms of dimensions uh, it is 20 centimeters in height 20 centimeters in width and depth it was hard to kind of measure because it's circular but it's about 18 centimeters so a really good size vanity bag and i'm just so so happy with this so that is the first bag okay the second bag is from hermes and it is in this dust bag now it doesn't come with this dust bag but i wanted to reveal it so I to create an air of suspense but no this bag never came with an hermes dust bag and i will explain why and it is, ta-da! And you guys are thinking, what the hell is that, Mel? And it is a Hermes Vinyl Kelly 40 centimeter bag. I bought this from eBay from a very, very reputable Japanese seller. I will leave the details down below. But just let me tell you a little bit of history about this bag. So basically, in 1996, Hermes sent out invitations to their show. And it was in a clear Kelly vinyl bag. It was a smaller version of this bag. And it didn't have this writing. It said like 1996. And, you know, it's it was basically to commemorate the Paris terrorist attacks in 1995. So I'll put a picture of that 1996 uh, Kelly bag here. How cool is that bag for an invitation? Anyway, it was so popular that Hermes decided to create a limited amount in 1997 and 1998 for one of their exhibitions, which was called A Trip to Wonderland. So this particular version is the 1997 version, and it is clear, as you can see here, it says 1997. And in 1998, they had an orange vinyl bag version, which says 1998. So on this bag, now please excuse my French because my French is terrible, but it says, On voyage au pair de merveilles something like that. But basically that means a trip to Wonderland because that was what the exhibition was called. Now this, as I said, never came in the dust bag. That's my own dust bag. Seller did provide it with a very sort of thin sort of kind of dust bag, I guess, but that's not what I'll be storing it in. So let me show you this bag in a little bit more detail. So to open it up, it's just a turn lock closure. Let me take all this out. So it came with all this packaging. And you know one of the biggest trends in 2018 is the whole transparency trend. And I really loved some of the clear Chanel bags that they released, but I wasn't willing to pay, you know, three, four thousand dollars for a clear Chanel bag. And so I hopped onto eBay and looked at this and 
I found one in really good condition. As I said, this one is from 1997, so it is like 21 years old. It does have like a couple of marks here and there, but the most important thing to me in terms of looking for this bag is that there was no yellowing. If you guys were interested and just a little bit of advice when looking for these bags, there's a different sort of price categories. There's ones that are like, you know, over a thousand. There's ones that are sort of like seven to nine hundred and then sort of around four to five hundred and then like the three hundred versions. I don't recommend you going for the 300s because they look really, really yellow. So my first thing was no yellow. Second was that the structure was still quite good. And thirdly, that the metalwork, some of them were like really, really rusted. And what I recommend you do, really check all the details carefully because I got this bag. Oh yes, the price, which is very important. I got this bag for 479 Australian dollars, including delivery. And that was with a 10% eBay code. I was very lucky that they had just had that eBay code. I think it was only for that particular night or something. So I got a really good deal because some of their bags, they do give ranking like A or AB and so forth. They had some of these bags that were like $800, $900 and they weren't even in as good condition as this bag. So as I said, just look at the details very carefully, zoom up to everything. But this particular seller has got like over 99%. I highly trust this Japanese reseller and they've got a few. So again, guys, I will link a couple down for you that I can find. But if you're looking for like perhaps your first Hermes bag and you know, you love the transparency trend, I highly recommend you get this bag. I think it looks so cool. And what I'm going to do for you now is I'm just going to put, I brought a whole bunch of things just to show you how cool this bag looks just with your items in it. I just can't wait to play around more with this bag. As I said, I've been dying to show you this bag because it has been here for three weeks, but I wanted to wait for the Louis Vuitton bag very quickly. It is called the Kelly 40 centimeter vinyl bag because it does measure 40 centimeters across. It's about 30 centimeters in height and in terms of depth it's approximately 11 centimeters. So that is what the bag looks like. Completely clear. There is no writing on the back of the bag. It is just the front of the bag that has the writing here and it also says I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it just means, you know, uh, souvenir from the exhibition, I think, and then the date, 1997. I just wanted to quickly show you how cool this bag looks with some items inside. To open it up, it's just a turn lock. I think because the bag is so big, honestly, you can use it for, for a few occasions. I mean, you can use it as a beach bag if you wanted and day bag. So you can use it to house your laptop if you want, though. I probably will, wouldn't recommend the laptop only because I'm worried that the weight that eventually it might distort the vinyl. But look, because it's so big, it does fit that if you wanted to do that. So let me just show you how cool this looks with some items inside. So, you know, I've just got a magazine. I'm just going to put the magazine in there. And just say you wanted to use it as a day bag and then you wanted, I don't know, to go out at night or something. I don't know. This is my Hermes Jiggy Clutch. So I'm just going to put a few random things in there just to show you. Uh, my LV Mini Pochette. Put that back here. This is my uh, Hermes mini Bjorn, just put like a coin purse, a key pouch, and my phone, and some sunglasses, okay, just, just an example, let's just do this up. All right guys, how cool does that look? I think it looks amazing. And then look, it's got so much space that you can turn it around to the back. I mean, you can play with it as much as you want. I've just put a few things in there. And if you wanted to dress it up, you could, if you own a Twilly, actually, it doesn't matter which brand, but with an Hermes Twilly, let me just quickly put it. You could wrap it around the handle. I'm just going to thread it through like this. Like this. 
and have it like that. That's really cute. You could put, it might be a bit overkill, but if you didn't want the uh, Twilly, you could put a little Rodeo on it. The options are just endless. I just love how this bag looks. You can put so many items in there. I actually brought a couple more to show you, just in case you guys do own that as well. But it actually does fit in. Let me just take a couple of these things out here. If you wanted to make it more wintry, this is my Chanel O-Case pouch. And you wanted to put a few things that and use that as a catch-all that looks amazing in there and for all my Louis Vuitton lovers if you guys own the toiletry this is the 26 so if you can fit the 26 it will fit the 19 and the uh, 15 obviously but yeah that fits in there as well if you wanted to put that in there and you can just you can put anything honestly you can change all the color combinations I mean I've got pink in there but you could use I actually got I could put a green twilly it, you can just change it up you know what I mean I'm just gonna have so much fun styling this up because you know you can be as creative as you want it to be with all your pretty you know small leather goods and all your belongings inside so that is my Hermes vintage vinyl Kelly from 1997 so there you have it guys that is my double reveal of my two vintage beauties firstly the Louis Vuitton Khan vanity bag and secondly my Hermes Kelly vinyl bag I would love to know which one do you like better please comment below to let me know so thank you so much for watching I appreciate all your love and support if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you really soon in my next video bye guys